Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the critical or design load for a column according to the AISC loading uh, combinations when multiple loads are acting on a column. We will find this uh, critical load both for the LRFD design as well as for the ASD design. I have been given a question which states that a column is subjected to the following loads that is the dead loads 25 kips, occupancy live load 18 kips, roof live load 6, uh, six kips, snow load uh, 10 kips, rain load 6 kips, wind load 9 kips, all loads are in compression except for the wind load which can be either tension or compression. We have to find if the load and resistance factor design is used. We have to determine the factored load that is the required strength to be used in the design of column according to this AIC load combinations. Okay. We also have to find the required design strength of the column, required nominal strength of the column for a resistance factor of 0 0.9. Allowable strength design uh, is used. Then we have to determine the required load capacity. To be used in the design of column and also we have to find which AISC load combination controls and finally we have to find the required nominal strength of the column for a safety factor of 1.67 okay first uh, we will write the given information dead load this is 25 kips occupancy load this is 18 kips roof life load this is 6 kips snow load this is 10 kips rain load this is 6 kips Okay, I have also written the symbol for each load type and wind load this is 9 kips. Okay, so I have written all the load types okay at the top. Now the first uh, combination according to the AISC load combination this is 1.4 times dead load. So it will be 1.4 into 25 which is 35 kips second load combination this will be 1.2 times dead load 1.6 times live load plus 0 0.5 times uh, roof live load or snow load or uh, rain load we have to take the larger uh, of the three okay in the uh, third value so it uh, we can see that this uh, snow load this is larger than the roof live load as well as for the rain load so it will control so we can write this as 1.2 times dead load 1.6 times live load plus 0 0.5 times snow load putting values this will be 1.2 times 25 plus 1.6 times 18 plus 0 0.5 times 10 which is 63.8 kips this is the uh, load ultimate load according to the load combination second these load combinations these are given in the asc steel construction manual okay you can check them and load combination 3 this is 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times either roof uh, live load or snow load or uh, rain load plus 0 0.5 times live load or 0 0.5 times wind load okay so it will be 1.2 times dead we can see this snow load this is greater than roof live load or rain load so it will be 1.6 times s and live load this is greater than wind load so it will be 0 0.5 times l putting values this will be 1.2 times 25 plus 1.6 times 10 plus 0 0.5 times 18 which is 55 kips this is the ultimate load according to the load combination 3 after that load combination 4 this is 1.2 times dead load plus 1.0 times uh, wind load plus 0 0.5 times live load plus 0 0.5 times either uh, roof live load or snow load or rain load so clearly snow load this is larger uh, of uh, 3 so it will be 0 0.5 times the uh, snow load so it uh, so value will be 1.2 times 25 plus 1 into 9 plus 0 0.5 times 18 plus 0 0.5 times 10 which is 53 kips so these uh, four combinations these will govern the design and out of these four we can find out that the load combination two controls this is the larger uh, value which we got out of these uh, four so design load for this column this will be 63.8 kips which is according to the load combination two then we have to find the design strength clearly this ultimate load this should be less or equal to design strength so you can say that the design strength of column to carry the load safely this should be equal to 63.8 kips 
nominal design strength this will be the ultimate load divided by the resistance factor so it will be 63.8 divided by 0 0.9 which is the resistance factor in lrft so it will be 70.89 kips will be the nominal design strength of this column okay next we have to find the uh, critical load according to the asd for this the combination 6a which is given in the aic steel construction manual this will control you can also check the other combinations and you will find out that only this combination that is 6a this will control the design in the ast which is uh, dead load plus 0 0.5 0 0.75 times live load plus 0 0.75 into 0 0.6 times with load plus 0 0.75 times either roof live load snow load or rain load clearly snow load is larger so you can write allowable load this will be dead load plus 0 0.5 times live loads plus 0 0.75 times 0 0.6 times wind load plus 0 0.75 times snow load okay and putting values you can write this 25 plus 0 0.75 times 18 plus 0 0.75 times 0 0.6 times into 9 plus 0 0.75 times 9 10 this is equal to 50.05 kips this is the allowable or the critical load in the ast okay i have directly taken the combination 6a all the combinations these are given in the steel construction manual you can check them like we checked for the lrft and you will find out that this combination this will govern the design since uh, this allowable load okay uh, this uh, shall be uh, less than this uh, nominal strength divided by the safety factor so you can write this nominal strength this uh, will be equal to safety factor times the allowable load so it will be 1.67 times 50.05 which is 83.59 this will be the uh, nominal strength of the column according to the ast design to carry the loads safely okay so this is how you can find the critical or design load uh, for the design of column or beam okay or uh, any tension member when multiple loads are acting uh, on the member you just have to check all the loading combinations and the larger one this will be your design or the critical uh, load okay so uh, i hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful Please share this video with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.